What's up? YouTube, MeTube, iTube, AI. Okay. Anyway, let's get him on the show. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, weeks and weeks and weeks. I actually had one prepared. Oh, I had one prepared. Uh, it was basically making gravy. I made pork chops, some fried pork chops, and some gravy and some rice. Put it all together. Bam. I'm just showing people how to make gravy because a lot of people like to buy uh, gravy from a uh, you know package and they put it in there and they add the water and stuff. You're basically doing the same thing when you're making gravy, and I don't know why they're going to do that. I know you need you know like your uh, like stock or something, uh, like beef stock, pork stock, turkey stock, whatever. But you don't really need to do that because when you're making yourself like with the pork chops, I did. I fried some pork chops and then I took the, the grease from when I did the pork chops and I made that my uh, my stock, my juices for the gravy. Um, I was trying to keep this on a 10 minutes but it's not going to happen. Um, anyway, without further ado, today we're making, I am making some uh, wine braised beef short ribs. I've got everything ready now. Uh, we're going to start by browning your uh, beef short ribs. I'll show you my beef short ribs here. We'll move over to our uh, our vegetables that we got to cook after this. But right now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be browning your uh, your beef. Uh, let me show you this really quick. It is a beautiful... Let's look down there. i got to get that out of the way. I mean, they're beautiful. Nice short ribs. Uh, what you want to do with these, when you do them, you have to do a little camera move in here. But they have some fresh cracked pepper on there. There is sea salt. So you're going to want to cut these down to about two inch pieces. I know this is nuts. And with the magic of video editing, we have. All of our stuff done. So we're gonna brown these now. Take all this crap through the way. Move everything over here. this done. Just taking our... We've got some olive oil in here. So we need to brown these. Let's turn up our heat to like a medium heat. So we got the second batch done here. We're going to take these, move them to the side here. And what you're going to do after this is you're going to take your uh, your drippings, I guess you would say. Oops. Put that piece right there. And you're going to reserve them for later. This is going to be part of my stock, actually. I forgot to start my other stuff here on the other side. Let's just move this over to here. We're going to have our vegetables. Oop, wrong way. Let's back this out. Well, this is where our vegetables go. We're going to have our carrots, our onions, and our celery. I think I put too much onion in here, but we're going to let this uh, brown. We're going to wait for the onions to brown. It's going to be about, let's call it five to ten minutes. Oops. 
clean this up. But after we do that, what we're going to want to put in there is we have our spices here. I actually had some saffron here. I'm going to put the saffron in there too as well. Too as well. Sorry, redundant. Uh, I'm hoping this will just add a little bit of flavor to it. But that's the saffron. This is a... Uh, dang it. Thyme, tarragon, rosemary, and our garlic. These are all going to be added in here later. We're going to put these in after we add our... Uh, our stock and our wine in here. The wine's going to go in and we're going to let it reduce. So this is all going to brown right now. So we'll do this for about five minutes. Then we'll get on to our next step here. Okay, so we're back. We're going to let these, you know, like I said, they're going to brown a little bit. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in your tomato sauce, tomato paste, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of tomato paste. We're going to let that mix in a little bit there. We're also going to put in some flour. Just do it a little bit at a time so that way we don't let it clump up. It's three tablespoons of flour to one tablespoon of tomato paste. this incorporate in for a few minutes let this cook turn down our heat woohoo this one that's hot we're gonna add in our wine now we're supposed to use a full bottle of wine I don't have a full bottle I have an almost full bottle it's a Malbec you want to use a dry wine Ooh, that's a dry wine. So we're going to add in our wine now. We're actually going to do this a little bit at a time. Just for the sake of the... Same thing as the gravy. I might put the video up. If you guys want me to put it up, let me know. So we can learn how to make gravy. But it's going to be a little bit at a time, so that way you don't create lumps. And then, after we do that, we'll be adding in... Our uh, I forgot. I mean, our short ribs. This is going to be over medium heat, like medium, medium high. 25 minutes, a good simmer on there. Pour the rest of our wine in here. Remember, it's a full bottle of wine. Uh, it is suggested that you use a cab. But just something dry. Uh, this Malbec is dry. So 25 minutes, we're going to add in our beef now. After this, it is being transferred over to the oven. Uh, after it gets into the oven, it's going to be there for about 25, I'm sorry, this is going to simmer for 25 minutes. Uh, when it transfers to the oven, it's going to be there for about two and a half, three hours. So, we'll let this simmer. We'll add in our stock afterwards. We're supposed to use about four cups of uh, stock. Before we put the stock in, we're going to put our spices in. So, when it goes into the oven, you know, everything will be absorbed there. Like you saw the spices, the uh, tarragon, the thyme, the saffron, the rosemary, and the garlic. So that's it for now. I'll be back in about 25 minutes so we can get this. We've been setting in. We've been letting these cook for 25 minutes. Simmer. Now we're going to add our spices. We have our saffron, our thyme, our tarragon. And last but not least, the rosemary, and also our lovely garlic. Oh, that's starting to smell so good. Wow. Smell hit me. 
So let's turn this off. Give us a good mix. Add in our stock and our juices and all the other fun stuff. This is going to go to the oven now. It will be in the oven for about two to three hours, and that'll be that. So move this over here, and we'll get that on the way. We'll be back. Two hours, one o'clock in the morning. Wow. Okay, here is our braised short ribs. It's like almost like a stew, except I used wine. Uh, let's cut them open here and see how they look. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me because I just took my camera off my mount. Uh, here's the rest of it here. This is all done. I know, looks horrible to me. Let's set this here. Cuts through fairly easy. It's nice and tender. Let's try it and see how it is. Mm. It's very tender. It's good. It's probably a little bit of soft on there. But that's about it. Braised pork ribs. Uh, the wine I used, like I said, was a Malbec. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend a Malbec. Uh, you can always try other dry red wines to see what you got. Um, I don't know how Merlot would work. Like I did say, they did say to use a cab. I have to try that next time. But these actually pretty, much pretty good. You can also beer braise them. Uh, I had some beer braised ones before, and those ones came out excellent. Those were very good. It was a uh, beer braised uh, wild boar belly, and those were incredibly good. So that's into that one there. I hope you guys like that. I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, remember, don't always use what I did. Always try to incorporate your own ideas into there. Try different herbs and spices that you can do. Uh, make it better. Make it good. Uh, that's about it. So I hope I really do hope that you guys liked it. Uh, another thing that you can do with this, uh, like I would add a little bit more salt to mine. Um, make some mashed potatoes, stick it on top of the mashed potatoes. It'll come out fantastic. Um, that'll be it. So thank you again very much for watching. Oh, it's freaking hot in here. Uh, make sure that you rate, comment, subscribe. You know, comments of things that you want to see me make. Uh, comments, maybe if you think that I did something wrong or anything, temperatures or anything. Uh, I did keep it at 350. I thought 350 was a little high, so as the time progressed, I did uh, lower the temperature. Uh, I ended up having it down to about 250 by the time it does. Because you want to do it like a slow cook so you can make it more tender. Uh, that's about it on that, like I said. But yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you share it with people. Uh, that's it. Thanks. And you guys have a good night. Bye.